Yo YouTube, what is good? It's your boy Mangabari, back again today with a brand new video. How are you all doing? Hope you've all been good. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've made a video. Apologies, but I'm making one now and that's what matters. Happy 2020 to everyone. Hope y'all are gonna have a good year. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. Just want to quickly say, uh, for my SKX, I've recently gotten a new watch strap. This is my Bark and Jack seatbelt nylon NATO. Um, if you haven't already heard of who Barker Jack is, he's a YouTuber that talks about watches. Amazing content, really good guy, he's absolutely amazing. Um, please head over and watch his videos, he does some good stuff. Uh, <clears throat> back to the video. So, in today's video, we know that I've kind of dabbled in denim. We know that there are signs that I like denim. But now, now I can say I've pretty much been bitten by the denim bug. You know, I got the uh, the denim jacket, which was the Lee denim, the Lee Rider denim jacket. Absolutely lovely piece. Um, lovely to see that people appreciated it, even on the uh, uh, raw denim uh, Reddit. A lot of people were like, yeah, it's a great, great starter piece, or just great piece all around. Absolutely love it. Then I got my uh, current jeans, you can only see my kneecap, but the uh, Edwin 55s, um, these were the left hand twirl ones, amazingly soft, lovely wash on them, incredibly, incredibly soft, very high quality denim, I mean, these retail for 130, I think that if they were salvage, they'd probably be about 200 odd, because everything about it is just premium quality, apart from the fact that it's not salvage, um, I don't mind if things aren't salvaged though. Um, I don't think salvage is the be all and the end all. So, there we go. And um, now I've recently, hypocritically, to the previous statement I've just made, bought some salvage denim. Um, so I decided to stick with Edwin because that's what I know at the moment. I feel comfortable with it. I'm comfortable with the sizing. I do think when I bought the 55s that they were a bit too tight. They are quite low rise. I'm coping with it. Um, they fit really well now, they've stretched out a bit actually, which I was quite surprised about. Um, a lot of people are like, you know, if it's already been washed it won't stretch. They stretch. Shut up. Um, so they fit really nice now, really comfortable. Um, so I decided to go to some Edwins again. Um, since we've got a blue pair, I don't have a raw pair yet, but they will be, they will be with us at some point. I decided to get a black pair. Um, mainly going with black because I've got a pair of black skinny jeans and I absolutely hate skinny jeans now, so I wanted to move away and get like a nice slim pair of jeans. So I got these Edwin 85s. So these are the Edwin ED 85s. They're a slim tapered drop crotch. Uh, I went with the drop crotch option because I know that Edwin's seem to be quite low rise and because I've got quite a high up arse crack, <laughs> to say the least. You know, a lot of guys that got big long bums, um, low rise isn't it for us. So because I know it's got a drop crotch, I pull them up basically higher to get them to fit higher up on my waist, which still gives me some really nice crotch room. So I fit into them actually quite well. Even though they are low rise, um, they do fit quite, quite nicely and quite snug. Again, they are stretching a little bit as well, which is also good. Um, got the uh, tag so these are the CS white listed black selvage denim in 13 ounce and they're an easy acid wash um, CS basically means something to do with the fabric so it's supposed to be made better a higher quality fabric I think softer or something like that um, and then it's white listed selvage denim which means it's got basically a white selvage ID um, and yeah 13 ounce which is a bit heavier than the current 55s I'm wearing now, um, 55s were 12.6, 12.6 ounce denim, and these are um, 13, so they're not that much more, but not that much less. They are a little bit heavier, I do notice the tiniest bit of weight, but it's nothing to go crazy about, sometimes I think it might be a little bit in my head, just because I'm like, oh my god, because it's heavier, I think it's heavier. Um, so yeah, uh, these will retail for about £130. Um, we'll get into that a bit later as to why I don't think they're really worth that, if I'm going to be quite honest. Um, 
I know, well, I'll, I'll get into that later. Um, so yeah, they retail for about £130. I tried to look around online to see uh, any other places that did this exact pair. Nada. Everywhere that I could find that had them on the website were sold out or they were a similar pair but not them. Um, so if you want to get these, go on Brown Bag Clothing. That's where I got my pair from. Um, on sale, beautiful price. I only paid, what was it, like 30, 30 something pounds altogether with shipping, like 35 pounds with shipping. Um, so yeah, massive sales on that website. So that's where I got my last pair of Edwin's and these pair. That's why you can imagine, you know, I saw these salvage denim for 30 quid. I mean, a lot of people said, oh yeah, get some Brave Stars. You know, you can get a pair of Brave Stars for like 100. Um, but at the same time, it's like, yes, I know they'd be better quality, but £30 for some silver, you can't go wrong. Um, so yeah, let's have a look anyway. So this is the tag. You get greeted with this. Uh, really nice tag. Slim tapered, drop crotch, lovely. You also get this tag. Um, I went for a size 34 on these as well. So it's 34 weight, 34 length. Same as my 55s. Um, I think due to the type of material, since it's different, different uh, sort of made denim, this does feel a lot tighter at the waist, but it is starting to get a bit more comfortable to wear into. Um, so yeah, it's not a problem now, but it was at first. Uh, but I, I've kept to the size of the past pair that I got, and it seems to be kind of universal with, de with uh, Edwin denim. Um, so you get this tag as well, which is white. As you can see, because it's white listed denim, it keeps that sort of uh, sort of theme of white going on. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it's a really nice pair of jeans, to be just quite honest with you. Black, they've got an easy acid wash, which means they've got a bit of fading, but it's not really heavy fading. It's just that parts, it looks like a light grey. Um, again, there's plenty of space for fades to come through on that, which will be nice. Um, so yeah, uh, it's nice to have a nice pair of, pair of black jeans. You've got this nice leather patch up here, black patch with Edwin embossed in that with the, no it doesn't have the Japanese logo, it just says Edwin. Um, uh, on the front, pretty basic. The only letdown on this, well there's multiple letdowns on this which I'll get into later. Um, I'll put some fit shots as well in at the end. Um, so you can see here we've got the Selvage ID, which is the white Selvage ID there for you guys. Um, it is honestly a really nice pair. Um, I've had this for nearly a month now, um, and they're, they're doing quite well. Crotch holding up absolutely fine. Um, I've sort of double cuffed them over. Um, you know, you've got nice pockets, um, the rivets are in the right places, things like that. Got the nice little Edwin in there. As I said, they're really comfy, they're not bad, and for your first pair of selvage you can't go wrong. You've got the black, oh god, the, uh, can my finger pop? Aha! Got the black stitch in there of the, uh, the Edwin logo. So yeah, all run, really nice pair, can't complain. So the 85 is more slimmed cut, uh, it's a lot thinner than the 55s. It could almost fit skinny if it went even any more slimmer, which I'm quite happy that it's in between a sort of skinny fit and a slim fit. Uh, I feel that the 55 on me is more of a slimmer fit and then the 85 is like slim going to skinny, um, which I don't mind because, you know, I just don't want it to be uber tight on my legs uh, as I've got a really big top block and then thighs are quite chunky. So the fact that this is a drop crotch but it's still tapered is quite nice because then I get nice leg room and then it tapers down nicely at the leg and because the crotch is lowered I've still got plenty of space to pull those, dre those jeans up. Now my only issue with these is the fact that they're quality wise they're not actually as good as the 55s that I have. So with the 55s they retail for the same price as these but with the 55s you get Left hand toil denim, really soft. Oh my god, it feels amazing, guys. Really nice wash on it, quality stuff. Um, you got nice weight to it. 
The rivets are done well, the pockets are done really well. You've got a tan leather patch on the back with the Japanese Edwin logo embossed underneath the Edwin logo. Patch is put on quite nicely. Um, the the 55s are actually, the denim is made in Japan, but it's been constructed in a different country. So the denim is Japanese made, Japanese made denim. Um, and then it's basically sent over to Turkey and then someone in Turkey sews them together. Because um, there is a Japanese denim patch in this, which kind of signifies that authenticity. So although it's not selvage Japanese denim, it's still Japanese denim, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, I just think these, are, my 55s are way more superior in sort of quality control, build quality, and all round looks and attention to detail. There's also a button fly on the 55s. This is where it gets really bad though with the 85s because these have got really, the patch is not bad, but it is crappy compared to the 55s. Um, don't know how well you can see there, but the stitching at the bottom there is really off. It's really bad. You know, if you were paying for these retail, you've paid 130 pounds for these. You don't want them to be having stitching like that. I mean, <laughs> you know, it's just, it's just not right really. Um, also, this is not made in Japan denim. This is not. I don't know where the actual selvage denim is from, but from what I believe, it doesn't say anywhere in the jeans um, that it's Japanese denim. Normally it would say in the back here, around this side, Japanese denim. You do not see that on this. So there's no indication, say, that the denim was even made in Japan. Um, so obviously, you know, it probably isn't because for Japanese selvage denim, you're going to be paying a ridiculous premium. Um, so, you know, well, not ridiculous, it is justifiable, but for people like, you know, the common guy who works an average nine to five and doesn't earn hundreds of thousands or, you know, I'm not earning like 60K a year, you know, you got to think, spending two, 300 plus on a pair of jeans is a lot to commit to. Even when you're paying 130, you don't expect this, you know. Um, and the last thing that really annoyed me was the fact that it's a zip not a button fly, so it's not buttons, it's a zip, um, which means, you know, over time, if this zip goes, you're going to have some hell. Luckily, it's a really good quality zip, uh, it's YKK, so it should, should be durable enough to last, but it's just the fact of, you know, there's so many other brands that do salvage denim out there that will give you all of what my 55s have, for cheaper retail than this. Um, I guess what you can think of with the with these 85s, it's a case of they've obviously made it so you're paying for the selvage, you're not paying for the actual quality, like the attention to detail. They've took something out, because I think in their eyes, if they were gonna do all the details that's on the 55s on the 85s, it would definitely be priced around the two to 250 price point. Um, which is a shame, you know, they kind of had this logic of you can't get it that good, um, which I don't think is fair to say, but you got to think with a company like Edwin, they are more of a larger scale corporate business rather than, you know, your Brave Star and companies like that. Um, so yeah, they've got to make their money somehow. But honestly, guys, I still really like this pair of denim. I'm really happy, you know, although there's some bad parts to it, it's still salvage denim my first pair it seems to be decent quality um i'm happy i've got a black pair of jeans and they fit quite well so yeah that's that's pretty much it what i'll do is i'll do the fit at the end because we're at 15 minutes yeah take care guys Peace.